hello there folks, and welcome back to Damage and Drink now. I'm recording this straight after the previous episode, as you probably gathered. Um, although I have changed the light slightly, because I realised one of the reasons why I thought I was looking dark on the second monitor is because my second light um, was down at 10% rather than 20%. Um, you don't really care. Um, we are skating on thin ice today. We are going to find out what the fourth fight of the Eden raid is. Gaia's recent ordeals have left her rather more subdued than usual. You've all gone through a lot of trouble on my part. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Anyway, I've delayed you for long enough. Please, carry on with what you came to do. Shiva time. Cutscene. I'm glad you're back to your usual self, but how are you feeling? Much better now, but something's still bothering me. The fairy spoke to me in a dream and a stream of memories rushed through my mind. I don't recall anything like this happening before and I'm not sure what it all means. What sort of memories? I can't make any sense of them. They were only brief flashes seen through someone else's eyes. At least that's what it felt like. Minfilia, that is the first oracle of light, once served Hydaelyn as the word of the mother. If the oracle of darkness is her counterpart under Zodiac, then we'd best prepare ourselves for the worst. Aye, the knight's return did tip the ethereal balance toward activity, which may have served to awaken the fragment of his power in the first. Oh, of course, yeah. Having thus roused, he did then fix his gaze upon she who had been marked by darkness, Gaia. Not to know, Gaia's still her own person. Ah, a little smile. Hmm, everything all right? Uh, it's nothing. Ah, friendship. Anyway. Let's forget about all that for now. There'll be plenty of time to think it through once the last element's restored. Ha ha ha, no, probably not. If thou believest thyself well enough, then I see no reason to delay. Let us forthwith attend to the revitalization of ice. Shiva then. Demogen is the only one here to have actually seen the primal. Perhaps you could describe her for us? Oh, uh, a woman named Azale made herself a vessel. She and the great worm Hysvalga shared an undying bond. I wish to remember Azale. So, she summoned into her body the imagined essence of someone who lived over a thousand years ago. That such a thing should be possible. Yeah, we did a whole expansion on it. A long since departed Shiva was a source of great inspiration to Izel, whose method of summoning differed greatly from any we had previously encountered. Yeah, it it was the the thing that that kind of changed our understanding of how summoning worked, and then led us into um, Ravana and um, Bismarck and Thorden, of course. By the echo did she bear witness to the deeds of the noble Shiva, and thus was she moved to dedicate her being to that selfsame cause. It was this devotion that granted her the power of a primal. It is all about devotion. So she was able to control it herself. Yes, basically. Not getting any funny ideas, are you? I just think you're allowed, that's all. Anyway, we better get going. Our journey leadeth to a great glacier situated in the northernmost region of the empty. Okay. I'll get us there as quickly as I can. Yeah, see, because Reen is part of the summoning process in terms of she's the conduit to control Eden, it's what's going to happen now is going to colour her thoughts. It's time to draw out the ether. But first, an explosion. 
Um, I was thinking. That I should go with you this time. I want to be the vessel for Shiva. What? Being still and passive by nature, ice is the element that is the most strongly aligned to lights. I'll need to get close and use my own abilities as well as Eden's to draw it out. So that the oracle of light becometh the oracle of ice. I cannot claim to be in favour of this stratagem, and yet the primal we encountered in the source was summoned in much the same manner. The inherent advantages are undeniable. Ah, so we're going to get to fight Reen. Absolutely out of the question. Have you forgotten what damage it does to the primals we summon? I'm about to stand by and watch as she and Reen beat the tar out of each other. In any case, the ether only returns to the empty once the creature's been slain. It seems you haven't taken that into consideration yet. Presumably, there's a safe way to disperse it, but it's still far too risky. I thought you had more sense, Reen. Oh, shut up, Banquet. But it's not as bad as it sounds. Were the deiform entity as volatile as the primals we have previously summoned, it would be logical to assume that, in her role as conduit, Reen would be hard-pressed to retain control. Demogen would have no recourse but to defend herself by any means necessary, else her life be forfeit. Ah, let's do it. I know it's dangerous, but I can't let that hold me back. Please, I've got to try. So this will be why there's been no material on it. But I don't see why this is even necessary in the first place. You never had to take risks like this for the other elements. Eden possesses almost infinite power. But what would happen if it began acting without my intervention? If it started to feed on the ether just like other Sin Eaters, it would undo all of our hard work. It is a disconcerting eventuality, and one which cannot be dismissed. I'm worried that even if we realign the elements, things will eventually return to how they were following the Flood. But if I train Eden how to nurture the environment rather than drain the life from it, we can leave it to take care of the empty in our place. I'll channel the ether through myself and show Eden how it's done. To be fair, that's a smart move. <laughs> this isn't some house pet we're dealing with. If it all goes wrong, then what? I know this all sounds like I'm taking a leap of faith, but it has been a gamble every step of the way. We've managed to come this far because of faith in ourselves and in each other. Uh, I've made my feelings on the matter perfectly clear. But what say you, Demogen? Oh, I'm quite happy to beat Reen up. Uh, I mean... With my memories to guide the summoning, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Banquet is perhaps not. Reen, I suppose that if you've got your heart set on this, there's no point trying to dissuade you. Just don't do anything reckless, is that clear? As Crystal. Hug! This is going to work, I promise. I'll make sure of it. Well, for all our sakes, I certainly hope so. Because if the primal takes over... I'll be fine. With all of you by my side, I know what whatever happens, it'll work out in the end. Uh-uh. All of us? I hope you're not including me. I can't even deal with my own problems. Never mind yours. Eh, it's enough just knowing you're here. Anyway, I've decided to take a leaf out of your book. I do what I want when I want. I've made my decision, so now I have to see it through. <laughs> yes, but this is a different kettle of fish altogether. Yeah. Well, the point is that this is what I want, and I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. Responsibility. So this is how much it means to you. Having a purpose. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Members of Shiva envelop your minds. We spent a fair amount of time with Shiva 
Including seeing her sacrifice, well, seeing Gazelle sacrifice herself for us. I don't know how, but I can see her too. This might actually work. That confidence, though. Eden's verse, refulgence. Now accessible. I'm scared. Anyway, I assume because Reen's taking the, uh, the the part here that she's not going to be like super sexy um, Shiva, as we are familiar with. <sighs> right. What's it going to be like, folks? Just boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Light party. Full party. I call upon the power of Shiva. I'm most interested in what the uh she's doing the animation for it. Uh, I'm interested in the music. Have have they used the exact same Oh, to be fair. Whoa. No. She's lost control. Well, you we expected that. Her. She's a cool model. Hi there. First time for me too. Her head's slightly too big. <laughs> uh, our paladin friend has got a way more HP than I have. Is he going to tank or am I doing it? I'm doing it. Who's the voice for that? Da -da -da -da. Absolute zero. Tank buster? No, AoE. An AoE that was actually enough to break my shield. Redress? Oh, what the? Oh, that's a ghost attack. Oh, God, she's got... Wow, that does not give you a lot of time. Resplendent ice. Grant me strength. Um, is, is she going to Tsukiyomi? Oh, shite. Shatter. Thin ice works as it does uh, previously. I didn't think it had covered the middle. I was incorrect. Not a clue what's happening here. Right. So the I think the other tank got n knocked off the side with that. Frozen mirror. Uh oh.
No! Hmm. So there's a lot of... A lot more fighting in the middle for this one. So Scythekick actually has a spot underneath her. Um I guess this is her ult. Tranquility must be restored to the land. And music change. Oh. Aqueous Ether. Oh, we're not all here. So there's a tether. That's cool. Right, somebody needs to grab that one. Oh, that made it. I didn't think that had... Uh... Right. So this is... Uh... Yeah, this is leading to a, a flood of light. I think we did okay in that. I think. Darkness, be gone. Holy! Okay. So you've got to get out and in for that pretty quickly. Light consume you. I'm assuming she's facing that way for a reason. Oh, that's, that's for targeting her, um... So the, the, the floating targets above your head are for... Right, is this... Yeah, right. Don't move this time, Demma. Oh, that's... That baits you. If you actually stand where you are, or where I was, you didn't need to move. I'll take that off you, mate, because you were really starting to lose a lot of health there.
I've run out of MP because I'm a uh, Muppet. Can't remember what Absolute Zero did. Oh, that was just the AOE. Oh, I was looking at it because I'm an idiot. I am actually an idiot. I'd forgotten about that. I was so busy thinking about, oh, what is she going to do uh, the frozen floor? Whoa, that basically killed everybody. Uh, this is her enrage phase, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're not going to do this. Oh, we might actually. No, probably not. We, mm, we might. We've got some people up. No. Uh-oh. I think that's a wipe. Oh. It's too much for her to bear. Gaia, give us your hammer. She won't last much longer. Enough of this. Power of darkness, answer my call. To smash. Oh, that's really cool. Damn this light. That is not what I was expecting at all. Oh, wait, we've got a... Oh. Uh, DPS race. I want to see what tomorrow will bring. No, we're so close. Gotcha. Trouble in paradise one. Oh, she's, um. Oh, kill stealing. <laughs> oh, that was a really cool fight. I like that. I like that a lot. I can see why they didn't want to spoil any of that. Good job, all. A wind up reen? Do, 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 do. Right, uh, I'm totally. Uh. I got the wind up reen! Sweet! Uh, pass on that. Pass on that. 
Excellent, I got the boots. Wind up re infodema and a blade of golden antiquity, which is um, unable to obtain, blah, blah, blah. I now have a little mini Reen. I'd like a, a little mini Gaia to uh, to wander around with her. I think she'd probably look really funny. Massive lips. Hello. Nice hammer. You were there. I heard you. What happened to Shiva? Is she still in control? Nah. No, she's gone. But Gaia... What? That hammer <laughs> matches your dress. Tongue. <laughs> I see you're back to your normal idiotic self. Oh. Do, do, do. Look, isn't it pretty? Maybe we could take it with us. Um, ice tends to melt, you know. <laughs> Not this sort. Well, if you say so. Anyway, it might even make a nice necklace. Ah, a bonding moment. That's a brilliant idea. Oh, Reed made a friend. Will that not rush to her aid? Perhaps I'm getting slow in my old age because it would seem Guy has beaten me to it. And to think that she would be the one to break the ice. <laughs> they may have gotten off to a rocky start, but I think they'll make quite the pair. Yes. Ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. That's two songs mashed together, isn't it? Is that a hint of melancholy I de detect in thy voice? Something akin to a pining mother bird whose chicks have flown in the nest? Ba, da, ba, 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 ba. FF8 had some excellent music. While I know the game itself is not well loved or regarded by by many people in the fandom, um, it was still my first Final Fantasy game. Father Bird, if you don't mind, but are oh, you not entirely wrong? Still, when the day finally comes to say goodbye, it heartens me to know she won't be alone. After that, we can go to the second serving for coffee biscuits. <laughs> Fine, you win. And if they're anything less than perfection itself, I'll never let you live it down. Aww. If they're not to your liking, there are plenty of other things to try. I suppose we both deserve a little treat after all that hard work. <laughs> we certainly do. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what, what about us? Also, why does she have a hammer? There we were, laughing as if we had not a care in the world. Fleeting though it was, in that moment, I was content. But my life was never meant to be so simple. Damn it! There's more to it! Oh, but they're so happy. I had my share of close shaves, but that was terrifying, to put it mildly. I can only hope the end justifies the means. I let myself get a little carried away there, but I was definitely the one controlling my powers, not the other way around. Even so, I hope I never have to use them again. I being most naturally aligned to light among all elements did interact with Reen's innate gifts in ways unforeseen. Were we not graced with the timely appearance of the Oracle of Darkness, I fear that this tale would have ended somewhat prematurely. Indeed. 
Indeed. Where is... Just before I close the quest, because... Where are you? Oh, unable to summon a minion here. Oh, actually, let's let's just check out. With hair of spun gold and eyes of clearest sapphire, this young maiden was an incarnation of Minfilia, by whose name she was known. In the course of her journey, however, she chose to take her destiny into her own hands, and with it came a new look, name, and automaton likeness. What about Reen? I'm so sorry, everyone. I clearly have a long way to go before I can handle that kind of power. But we achieved what we set out to do, as I had faith we would. So without further ado, let's return to camp and admire our work. I kind of feel like that fight was, in a way, is easier than the one preceding it. It was certainly less puzzly. It's life. <gasps> There's trees and grass and snow or possibly still emptiness. But there's definitely life here. Stuff has changed, but not a huge amount, but some. And that's the point. But we have an entire raid tier of Eden to go. Ah. Huh. Feels like I'm witnessing the miracle performed by Minfilia a hundred years ago all over again. Wait. How could you have witnessed that? The rapid propagation of flora appeareth to be limited to the intersections of ethereal channels as per our earlier findings. Nevertheless, it is cause to rejoice that the seeds of ether have quickened in the barren garden that is the empty. All this greenery is far more than I dare to hope. I can't help but worry that it's too good to be true. Life finds a way. Hmm. Something bad's going to happen. I can feel all the revitalized elements working in harmony. Life finds a way. That's a reference to Jurassic Park, isn't it? <laughs> I've always expected Eden had the power to restore the empty, but I never expected it to happen so quickly. I never did get the hang of summoning primals correctly. I think we owe it all to Guy's skills with the hammer. Hammer. What are you talking about? I'm a woman of gentle birth. Hardly the sort to be swinging such a rude thing about. The amateur must be imagining things. Tee -hee. Yeah, I wonder if the effects from the rebalanced ether will spread to the rest of the empty. Perhaps we'll just have to wait and see. Besides, I'm sure we could all do with a rest. I must say, Reen, it's refreshing to see you take a more measured approach for a change. Well, if my experience here has taught me anything, it's that I shouldn't rush into things unprepared. And I've also learned that there are some problems that can't be solved alone. Is that so? Since you've freed me from Yulmo, I've met all sorts of kind people who've gone out of their way to help me. I thought that I should do everything in my place to re in my power to replay well I thought I should do everything in my power to repay their kindness and make the world a better place. But now more than ever I realize that there's a limit to what I can achieve by myself. Even though I was able to summon Shiva, I couldn't control such vast amounts of ether. If Gaia hadn't been there for me, I might never have returned to normal. I could say the same about you. I was trapped in a nightmare, but you freed me. Yeah, it seems to be more like than I thought. We might not be able to do everything by ourselves, but if we look out for each other, we can face our problems together. And of course, the, the, the balance of light and darkness is what needs to happen for the world to grow. That, that balance between activity and passivity that 
that has a more measured, neutral approach. That's if you don't mind. No, it's fine, really. If things don't work out, we can always go our separate ways. You're a bit of a pessimist. But on the other hand, if I can resist the urge to punch you whenever you annoy me, which I must say is quite often, I have no objections to staying around. <laughs> you mean it? Yes, I will punch you if you get annoying. Oh, thank you, Gaia. Ah, still don't like her lips, though. They just need to be ever so slightly smaller. May I suggest we continue the conversation in Amarang? Though the empty may now supporteth foliage, the land's normalisation hath but begun, and to linger over long still entaileth risks. True that. I like the texture on the ground. It ought the matter, Thancred. Nothing you need to worry about. Let's go. Right, where are we heading? Oh, we're heading straight to Amarang, apparently. Minions. It's got a massive head. As you might expect. Right, who are Our encampment remains in its present state for anticipated return. I cannot help but wonder how the land may change in our absence. To think that Reen is the same girl I rescued from Yulmore. Compared to the way she was back then, the difference is like night and day. After more Tsukoi. I can't say I care for the place. The marketplace reminds me of Yulmore, but instead of fine delicacies, they peddle... Well, I don't know what they are exactly, but I do know that they're far too wriggly for my liking. Before we do anything else, we should report to Yalfert. He'll want to know how we've been getting on in the empty. Speaking of more souk, there was a snack of some sort that caught my eye last time. I can't describe it, but it looked... squidgy. Despite a strong suspicion that I may live to regret it, I'd like to try one. Oh, I think I know the one you mean. They might not be much to look at, but they bet they taste amazing. Perhaps we could also try a pot of those jellied wrigglers or whatever they're called. I'll even let you take the first bite. Ew! No, thank you. First coffee biscuits, now worms and jelly. Heaven forbid the two of you might actually eat some proper food. Oh, Dad Cred. Damogen, may I ask a favour of thee? Whilst Dancred and I return into the Crystarium to inform our comrades of our recent exploits, I would have thee accompany Reen and Gaia to Modsuk. Okay. I can do that. I can probably teleport there. Because I am lazy. That's Louie. That's the Alfred. Green. I'm looking forward to showing Gaia around the Crystallium, but we better finish our work here first. I'm prepared to give this Maud Fair a try, although I should probably shut my eyes when I do. And my nose, come to think of it. I can't remember what voice I did for this guy. I trust all is well, Miss Gaia. It will be once we get out of this desert town. If I have to spend another night in that dingy little room, I shall scream. I'm terribly sorry to hear that the accommodation was less than satisfactory. I'll investigate the availability of more comfortable lodgings post-haste. Yes, I think we'll be staying in Maud Souk, at least for the time being. It might take a while for me to write the report, as our expedition was rather eventful. Demogen, I really appreciate everything you've done, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I put you through. Still fretting about that, are you? What's done is done. Besides, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? If 
invite. Now, how about that treat we promised ourselves? They might not have coffee biscuits here, but I've heard the Wiggler cakes are to die for. Was that you'll die from eating them? Only way to find out, I guess. Living for the moment, eh, Reen? I'm sure trying the local delicacies will keep us occupied between writing reports and thinking about the next plan of action. Hopefully we'll have another chance to visit the empty to see how things are coming along. I don't even think about leaving me behind. I wouldn't. Ba, 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 ba. There's more. Worlds apart. <gasps> Blue Fields Orchestra Mall. Good news! Or well, at least it has the potential to be good news. I've received word from Master Uyanje. Unfortunately, the message was rather thin on details. He only requested that you return to the Crystaria and meet him at the Wandering Stairs. Not the most likely of places for important meetings, but I suppose you might be able to squeeze in a pint or two while you're there. I can do that. I can't remember how to... Where actually is the Wandering Stairs? Uh, oh, is it? The, it's the pub, isn't it? I knew that. Th this this band on the map here always confuses me, but it's actually the uh, the stairway above us, isn't it? Which I can't actually remember how to get up to. So, ba, 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 ba. there he is. Well, not him, but the destination. I think Uyanje is going to have bad news. Hi. Oh, they're all here. Pray accept mine apologies for calling thee hither at such short notice. The matter I wish to discuss is of, is of considerable import. If it's that urgent, wouldn't it be quicker to use those link pearl things reen has been telling me about? Aha! Nice little dig at the two-point quest design. These are words best delivered in person. We found your parents. No, they're dead, aren't they? They can't find that. Ugh. Did something happen to the empty? Uh -uh. Not that doth warrant our immediate attention. The elements are in a state of equilibrium and the propagation of flora continues apace. So, what's this about then? As thou art aware, we are not of this world, hailing from what is referred to as the Source. However, unlike Demogen, Thancred and I exist only as ether, given corporeal form. Our bodies remaineth on the Source, though the thread that binds us to them doth grow weaker with the passage of time. And if you stay here too long, you might never be able to return. Precisely. Now, with the wheels of change and the empty set in motion, we believe this is a fitting juncture to take our leave. We shall but regret not being present to see the transformation reach its completion. But they can't leave yet. Well, that hardly seems worth losing your bodies over, though. If you have to go back to your own world, who are we to stop you? I always knew this day would come. I just... You'll still have Gaia and Demogen. Yeah, because we can come back and forth as, as we please. I know that you'll see this through to the end, together. But they can't go anywhere yet. We will. I may not be half the woman Minfilia was, but I have friends I can turn to. They might be brutally honest in their opinion at times. Or prefer to save their words and let their actions do the talking. Nod. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Just promise you won't transform into a crazy ice lady, lady and try to kill me again. I like making light of this. 
Though I can't say what the future might bring, no doubt Reed and Gaia will need your support in the days to come. Alas, the mysteries surrounding the fairy are yet to be solved. Whether thou should find the answers that thou seekest or nay, lend not thine ears to its honeyed words. For thy will is thine own. Never forget this. I won't. Hmm. The time of our departure is at hand. Yet know that, no matter where we may be, ever shall we pray for your success. This doesn't quite seem to line up with the MSQ. Is this something that I've missed? With Uriange and Thancred set to leave the first, it seems wise to share this development with the Alpha, who will continue to oversee expeditions into the empty. Huh. I mean, we know that Thancred and Uriange were struggling, that they are the first to be being affected because they've been here the longest. I think that's right, isn't it? Um... But that's kind of an odd story revelation. Maybe there's a point to it. Maybe that at the start of 5.3, that's what will be happening. You're back sooner than expected. Is everything all right? Oh dear, that's rather un excuse me, unfortunate. I dare something dare say it's something jolly important for them to leave in such a hurry. In any case, I wish them the best of luck wherever their work may take them. I shall remain here and hold the fort, as it were, and make the necessary provisions should any further forays into the empty be required. Safe travels, Mistress Demogen. Huh. Ah, huh, I say. That's... Yeah, uh, uh, that that struck me as a little bit odd. That. Uh, uh... Fine. Four sixty. Making progress. Okay, so that, folks, was Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers Patch 5.2's Eden Raid. Ended rather differently to how I expected. Really enjoyed. Uh, I can't emote from here, can I? Let's, let's take a seat. Let's try not to cut reading in half. Um, the Shiva fight was really cool. I enjoyed that. They they did some interesting work on, on the design. I did feel like her head was slightly too big. Um, but I'm glad they didn't go with the, the, the kind of super sexy uh, Shiva as the original did. Because obviously with combining it with Veen, and especially the bits where she changed clothes, um, which gave me a very kind of uh, FFX2 uh, ooh. Point of view. Um, not point of view. Feeling. Um, very, very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. Either way, that's a cool pair of leggings, at least. It just kind of looked like I'm wearing trainers. Um, the ending. The, the, the bit that we've literally just watched with Thancred and Uriange departing. I assume it's it's meant to read that they will be returning soon, we hope. Because the way Final Fantasy XIV has tended to work is that the, the point one, the point two, and the point three patches round out the story of the expansion. And then point four and po point five add more to it, but they also start setting up the next one. So is 5.3 going to be... Making sure that Uriange and Co can get back to the source is—is is that going to be the, the point of it? It's an interesting insight into what the MSQ for five point three might be. Um, it just feels a little bit, almost tacked on, very much out of the blue. 
We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Right, I'm going to go and look up the uh, the new music from that patch because I wasn't expecting uh, a little bit more of... A, a new FF8 song. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Was it was it Rose and Wine? It might have been a bit of Rose and Wine. I, I remember songs. I don't necessarily remember the names of songs. It has forever been one of my failings. Um, either way, I hope you've enjoyed watching me attempt to raid... Because, um, uh, as you know, I'm I'm all about the story. I'm not a pro gamer. I'm I'm not even a half decent tank, really. But I like the story, and that's that's what I'm here for. Which is why I'm glad that the the kind of general normal mode fights aren't super hard. Yeah, wiping two or three times on them, I think, is perfectly fine. Um, wiping on them ten plus times, not so much. You know, save that for savage or extreme or ultimate or or whatever. Either way. Really enjoyed the second set of Eden Raids. Really enjoyed the uh, the Cinder Drift uh, Sorrow of Whirlit stuff as well. It's been a good patch for raids. Um, I believe there's a couple of little bits and pieces for the Your Heart Dark Apocalypse stuff to do. No actual raiding as far as I'm aware, but there's a couple of quests um, which I'm going to go and do. And there's also um, Flamine's goodbye to minfilia quest which i think actually might have been putting in 5.1 and i hadn't noticed uh so i'm gonna go and do that as well and uh see what that's like thank you all very much for watching hope you have enjoyed and until next time little pip thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time, cheerio.